Oh, man. <laughs> all right, all right. What's going on, party people? This is your man, Griff. Downstairs in the dining room. Um, Mrs. G, she's sleeping. And sometimes my voice carries a little too much <laughs> and ends up waking her up. So she's sleeping on that side of the house. I'm over here. So typically when I'm in here, she can't hear me. <laughs> she can't hear me when I'm talking with with the party people so appreciate y'all stopping by listening um just straight to the point here um i didn't realize this printing thing was such a big deal i'll be honest with you i really didn't realize it over the years people have made comments and talked to me about printing at the table i've tried it twice didn't like it too stressful for me um it was just the logistics of it the, the plug was way over here and all this it just wasn't set up right so personally i don't <coughs> excuse me i don't like doing it um honestly i don't suggest new notaries do it and the reason why is because if you're already nervous you're already very timid you already got anxiety just about the order itself sitting here in someone else's home could be a little bit more nerve wracking for you. <clears throat> Another issue is that some people aren't technique, aren't tech savvy. And if you're not real tech savvy, then guess what? You're going to struggle if you don't have um, the mobile internet on your phone. Cause some people, because it costs more, they don't have that on their plan. So if you don't have that, that means you need to connect to their Wi-Fi. And if they can't remember the password or completely forgotten it, then how are you going to connect to their Wi-Fi? Then you have the issue of some people may not want you to connect to their Wi-Fi for whatever reason. I, For me, at my house, I have a guest um, Wi-Fi connection that you can use. So <laughs> that's the thing. So it's like... Eh, you want to do what you want to do and if you feel comfortable doing it then by all means do it for me I, one of the things that i look at and, and i've taken in consideration is first of all does the signer know that i'm supposed to set up and print from their house in the, at their table in their house that's the question because if the title company didn't tell them if the lender didn't tell them, we know the signing company's not telling them because the signing company's probably not even talking to them. More than likely, the signing company is not talking to them. 99.999% sure of that. So now the question becomes, I roll up in there. Do they know that I'm supposed to be doing this? Well, maybe I should have talked to them ahead of time. Then the other issue you have is you might have talked to one signer and they didn't tell the other so you come in there with your office gear and they're like okay what are you doing and then what if they have a situation where like a lot of times i go in they got a lot of they say okay we sit down here at the um at the dining room table but there's a lot of fine china there there's a lot of um expensive dishware there and they don't want to make room for you to put a printer i mean for put a scanner but why I keep saying printer? Put a scanner up there and do all of that. What if they have to leave right afterwards and they got to go take their kids somewhere or go pick their kids up? What if they got to go to work? And see, I have a lot of early morning signings, 7 o'clock, 7.30. Those people are like, hey, look, come in, get it done. I'll talk to you later. And I'm like, deuces. So I'm not personally in a situation where I can just sit here and just chill at somebody's house, scan and upload and all that. And then the other thing you also have to look at is independent contractors, the signing company or the title company or the lender trying to dictate and demand that we better sit there and do that. That, that goes outside the scope of the independent contractor agreement or really as an independent contractor, because now you're dictating to me how I'm supposed to do my work. We have to be a little careful about that. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of any other things to consider. Oh, well, for me, for me, 
lot of times I'm book solid and sitting at someone's home scanning versus me driving to my next appointment that can slow me up because sometimes I don't have a whole lot of time in between. I like to have two hours between each appointment meeting. I have a one o'clock, a three o'clock, five o'clock. Sometimes I have a one o'clock, two thirty, three thirty, or one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Very very tight, and I let the customers, you know, I let the um, signing companies know <coughs> that hey, I gotta. You know, I'll get, you, I'll get the scans to you after my next one running behind, or I, I just got to get over to that next one. So I will let them know this. Plus, I like going to the Starbucks. I like going to Panera Bread. And because of the time of day when I get most of my signings, by the time I'm finished my first couple in the morning, <clears throat> in the morning, it's lunchtime for me. So either I'm heading back home to eat me something, or I might stop by the Starbucks, grab me some coffee. For whatever reason, I will not eat the Starbucks food. <laughs> or grab me something from Panera Bread. That's me, okay? That's me. That's how I like to roll. That's how I like to do things. I know a lot of you are looking at how much it's costing you in gas, wear and tear on your car, all of that. I only have to worry about really much gas because I use a rental car. So if I'm using a rental car, I'm not worried about wear and tear on it. So that's not a concern or an issue for me whatsoever. So the only thing I'm really paying for is gas. No maintenance, none of that. So I ride it. <laughs> Plus, there's a the tax benefit that I get for adding, you know, for those miles and all of that. Sometimes I have to go home anyway because somebody forgot to include the CD, and instead of getting them to the e-sign it, they want to now ink sign it, or they got to update to the CD. So there's times where I just need to go back home. Another reason why I'm not scanning at a person's home is beneficial for me is that depending on where I got to go for my next signing, going to the Starbucks over there puts me five minutes away from the house sometimes, maybe 10 minutes. So rather being at their house, let me just drive on over so I can get into that area. And then I'm good to go. Plus, it allows me sometimes to beat the traffic. So there's, there's all these other factors for me that I consider. You consider whatever factors you want to consider um, and, and go with it. But I've been getting comments as well as text messages and emails like, like I'm doing something wrong by not sitting there at somebody's table and scanning. Like it's mandatory that I should be doing it. That it's not, it's not a benefit for me. When you got six or seven closings in a day, trust me, it is not a benefit for me. For, it may not be a benefit for you to sit there and do this, especially if you didn't tell them up front. So that means you need to make sure you tell the signers up front that you come into their house and this is what you're going to be doing. And here's the other thing. This is what I want to also bring up. The question is, those of you who say that you do, how long does it take you to do your closings? Because if it takes you 30 minutes or less to do your closings, I understand. And then if you don't have back-to-back -back signings like I do sometimes, I understand why you do it. But there are some people, new notaries, that it takes them an hour to an hour and 20 minutes to do a closing. And then you want them to sit there for another 30, 40 minutes trying to figure out how to get their scanner connected and get... There's some people that's, that's not going to be conducive for now, here's what you can do. And this is the one thing that I've never heard anybody suggest. Why don't you practice setting up your scanner? Meaning, put it in your car. And let's just say you go to work. And then when you come home from work, 
You walk in and you pretend like you're doing a signing and you sit there at either your kitchen table or the dining room table. And then you set your scanner up and all of that connected to the Wi-Fi on your phone or practice connecting to, the you know, you have, you know, your password. So connected to the Wi-Fi in your house and practice and pretend as if you're setting it, you know, doing a closing and set it up and see how fast it takes you to do that and how comfortable you are in doing that doesn't hurt then go over to your um to your friend's house or to your uncle's house or to your grandma's house or to somebody else's house and say hey i'm coming over i need to practice something for my notary business and then set up the printer i mean a scan keep saying printer set up the scanner there and try and then not only that actually scan something because now you got to ask yourself where am i going to scan it to now, the question then becomes what type of scanner you have. If you have, like I use the Raven or maybe some people use Epson, things of that nature that's doing 30 to 40, maybe 50 word, I mean pages per minute of the scan, you can get through it. How many pages are you talking about scanning? Because that's the question that a lot of the people who have commented to me and talked to me about this, They've never really answered that question as to how many pages are they talking about scanning. Use a portable scanner. Okay, well, a lot of portable scanners are very slow. 12 to 20 pages per minute. If you're talking about doing a 20 to 30 page, um, you know, closing or a notary appointment of some sort, then yeah, okay. But if you're talking about 100, you know, like 75, 80, 100 some pages or more, that ain't going to work. You'll be there for a very long time scanning through. And that's if no paper jams or anything, you're able to scan with no issues. Then, okay, yeah, I can see doing that. But there's going to, there more likely is going to be issues. So <sighs> the scanner type, all of that matters, you know, um, I'm fine with just going home and doing it. Y'all going to do what you want to do. And I'm not here to tell you what to do because you're going to you grown and you're going to do it. But I was I'm just suggesting that if you don't have your nerves in check. During the signing, you're all over the place. You may want to leave so you can get your composure and scan in a place where you are not under that. Those people just looking at you waiting for you to finish scanning okay <laughs> and they and they constantly you know by the third time they do this if they do this three times they look at their watch three times in less than a minute you probably on their nerve especially if they don't know that you're doing this and if the title company and the signing company you ask them hey did you um let the customer know that you want me to scan at the table no nah, you go ahead on and tell them so all this time you've been talking to them, you never mentioned that. No, but you want me to do it. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I'm not doing it. You're not going to make me do that because you put me in a bad situation. That's, that's just the way I feel. So, and then I never seen anywhere that demanded me to scan from the table. Have I seen that they would like for me to do it or can I do it? Yeah, but I've never seen anything that says I better do it. I have to do it. Plus, how would they know? Because if you finish in 20, 30 minutes and then you drive to another location, how would they know that you're at a different location? They're not on the phone with you while you're scanning. <laughs> oh, I just made, I thought I, thought I heard my wife. I was like, Oops, hope I ain't woke her up. Did you better? Okay, nope. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's just my thought. But again, as I say multiple times, you're gonna do what you want to do. And I encourage you to do it. Give it a shot. If you feel that that's the best thing for you to do, go for it. You have your reasons just like I have mine. And I respect your reasons just like I'm confident that you'll respect mine. As long as you, here's the thing. At the end of the day, you still got to notarize correctly. And if you're not notarizing correctly, then guess what? We have a problem. 
So there's many people I know out there that have scanned from the table, but they still messed up the closing because they didn't know how to do the notarizations properly. All right. Y'all have a good one. I'm going to go up here and get ready for my closings tomorrow. Peace.